Lots of people ask us how to create an auto acknowledgement. They are basically just an automatic reply, but are a great way to let your customers know that you've received their questions and to help set expectations for your response times. So in this video we're going to learn how to create an auto acknowledgement rule. We're also going to learn how to create a new auto acknowledgement theme and also how to edit the body of text uh, that your auto acknowledgement is composed of. You don't need any previous HTML or Liquid experience. So let's get started. To create a new auto acknowledgement, we go into Cases, Rules, and Inbound Interactions. We just click Add Rule. I'm going to call it My AA, and I want it to be an interaction type of email. Just click Add. OK, now in the conditions, we want to add an all condition of status. So case status, we want that to be is new. So that's already set up for us, which is nice. Next, we need another all condition. Now, this is a really important all condition. And this is hours since last auto act. What we want to do here is we want to avoid these auto acknowledgements getting into an email war with cu your customers out of office replies. So if you can imagine your customer emails you, they receive an auto acknowledgement directly back to them. But in some instances, they might have an out of office turned on. And what that would do is that out of office reply would come back to you, causing another auto acknowledgement to go back to them. You both wake up in the morning, thousands of emails later, and uh, not a very happy customer. So what we do here is we add this condition to avoid that, and that is hours since last auto act, and we change this to greater than or equal. And then we always recommend using 24 hours. That means that any new case that comes in that's already had an auto acknowledgement, it won't receive another one. So it's really important to add that in there. Next, we go down to our rule actions, and quite simply, we want to set this to send email acknowledgement. Leave it as system default, because the theme that we're going to make, we're going to set that to the system to be the system default. Turn it on, and click update. So your rules now in place. So the next thing to do is go into channels email, auto acknowledgements, add theme. Our theme is going to be called oranges. We add that. And our auto acknowledgement will load up. Here you can see the auto acknowledgements made up of um, some HTML styling. If you wanted to, you could get rid of all of that and completely style your email in um, your own design. That's perfectly up to you. OK, and we can also enter text directly in here. Could add hello if we wanted to. Or any text to give your email some personality. Or we can use these system snippets. These are a really good way of being able to reuse text, basically. And I'm just going to show you how we can edit the snippets without having to enter any text into here. And we do that. I'm just going to cancel that. But before I go, I'm going to change this oranges auto acknowledgement to be the default. Now that that's the default, our rule will run with this auto acknowledgement. If we go into content now to change the snippet, go to snippets, and the snippet that I want to change was called thanks in advance. I just really want to change this to something simple. We click on the pencil, and I want it to say, thanks for being a loyal Oranges customer. It's really as simple as that. So this text will now be pulled into any of your auto acknowledgements that use the thanks in advance system snippet. So if we go into our email us form now, and we quickly test this.
we go into our email, we can see that our auto acknowledgement has been received, including our custom text. It's really as simple as that.